I'm Hugh Collingbourne, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you a few of the features of the Amethyst Professional IDE for the Adobe Flash platform. Amethyst is built into Visual Studio. You can create projects and solutions just as you would with C Sharp or Visual Basic. Here, I'm creating a Flex 4 project, but you can create other project types for Flex 3, Air and ActionScript. Click a button to switch to the designer. As this is Flex 4, I can drag Spark controls into my design. Just like C Sharp or VB, I can double click a control to auto generate event handling code. Notice that Amethyst creates a code behind file to separate ActionScript code from the MXML design. IntelliSense is built in. And if I select a class from the completion list, the import statement is automatically added. The IntelliSense includes parameter tooltips to show the arguments to a function. And when you're ready to run or debug, you can do so in a browser or in the Flash Player. Here, I press Ctrl F5 to run in the Flash Player. Let's take a closer look at the Amethyst Designer. This lets me drag and drop flex controls from the toolbox. And when I move them, they may auto snap to the grid or to alignment bars. Now, controls are live, so when I move or resize them, I can see all the changes I make as I make them. For example, when resizing the date chooser, watch how dates are reformatted. The designer integrates with the properties panel, and many properties have their own dedicated editors, such as a color picker. Now here, I'm going to set the gradient colors for the application itself. Pop up the color picker, choose my colors, click OK. There is a style, effects, events, and a properties page for each control. And I just select a control to show or edit its properties. The code editor has code folding and extensive code coloring. There are 76 coloring options in addition to the Visual Studio standard colors. Amethyst Professional also has built-in code formatting. You can change indenting, for example, of code blocks and case statements, have opening curly braces kept on the same line or put onto new lines, and you can select various spacing options. Formatting can be configured to taste. You can auto-format after a semicolon or curly bracket. You can turn indentation on or off for code blocks. You can toggle new lines after opening braces, and so on. And you can put spaces before or after brackets, colons and operators. And you can also set wrapping options so that you can keep multiple statements on a single line if that's how you like your code formatted. Amethyst can refactor your code by changing parameters, moving a class into a new package, renaming identifiers and more. Here I'll rename this class. So I enter the new name and now I can preview the renaming to see what changes will be made across all the files where that class is referenced. And when I click Apply, all references to my class will use the new name. Amethyst can work alongside other IDEs and editors. The Amethyst Project Importer gives you the option to convert an existing project in its original directory, or import a fresh copy to a new directory or convert a Flash IDE project. This lets you share a project with, for example, Flash CS4 or CS5. Here I'm converting a Flex project. So first I browse to the original directory. And once I've done that, I give my project a name. The original code won't be changed by the converter. And now I can tailor conversion parameters in this final screen and then click Finish. The importer will prompt me to select the main file. I do that in the Solution Explorer. And now I'm ready to continue development. If this project had been created in Flash or in Flex Builder, the project could now be edited and debugged in both Flash Builder and 
in amethyst. The amethyst Cylon debugger lets me add breakpoints and step through my code one line at a time. I can drill down into objects just by hovering over an identifier in the editor. I can also navigate the call stack and add conditions to breakpoints. And variables can be dragged out of the editor into the watch window. There are other debugging windows too to let me view locals and evaluate expressions. You can find more detailed information on the features of Amethyst in our other videos. And to download a trial copy of Amethyst Professional, visit the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.